Ever have one of those emails, you're reading into it two or three paragraphs and you're starting to wonder, what is this all about? Somebody's either ranting and raving about something or maybe it's a brain dump and you're still trying to figure out what does this have to do with you? And you, you start feeling like you just wasted a lot of your time. Well, you probably did. What if there was a simple solution for emails to result in productivity instead of this wasted time? Hi, welcome to Front Porch Lawyer. I'm Francine Tone, your host. My son used to be an Air Force pilot. He's not in the Air Force anymore, but he still works with the Air Force. And he was home visiting one time and he saw me shaking my head after finishing reading a very long email from a business colleague. And he asked me, what's wrong? And I told him, in a nutshell, the email covered five or six topics. Each topic was these long rambling paragraphs. And when I was done, I didn't know what it had to do with me and I couldn't figure out what action I needed to take, if any. And I suspected there was some action, but I, I couldn't figure it out with this disjointed email. And my son turned to me and goes, why don't you teach them to bluff their emails? And I said to him, it already sounds like they're bluffing me. Why would I teach them to bluff? He goes, no mother. This is how he talks to me when he's trying to instruct me. No mother. He said, bluff is an acronym. Of course it's an acronym, it's the military. BLUFF is an acronym that stands for Bottom Line Up Front, B-L-U-F. The military runs on acronyms, but sometimes these acronyms can be greatly useful tools for those of us who aren't in the military, like BLUFF. Military professionals start their emails with a short BLUFF. They actually literally type the word BLUFF, B-L-U-F colon, and then follow it with a statement that states the purpose of the email and the action required. It quickly answers the five W's, who, what, when, where, and why. A bluff clarifies the most important information for the reader. An example of a bluff that's actually found in the Air Force Handbook is this. Bluff, effective 29 October 13, all Air Force doctrine documents have been rescinded and replaced by core doctrine volumes and doctrine annexes. In one sentence, this bluff tells the reader everything they need to know and why it's important to them. Because the reader is thinking right away, how does this email affect me? And this bluff answers that in one quick sentence. No one needs to read the rest of it. They don't need to know the, the details of how the Air Force came to this decision or all the personnel involved, right away they know what it's about. If they want more information, they could read the rest of the email. Now in your firm, if you wrote bluff in your email, people would be emailing you back because like, what is this bluff? So instead of writing B-L-U-F, you might just start with the words bottom line colon. So then follow up the bottom line colon with that one succinct sentence. You might even bold and highlight with yellow the words bottom line. So if you had a bot bluff right now, what you might have right now <laughs> with COVID going on, this might be a bluff that you could use. Bottom line, all employees must have a negative COVID test result within 48 hours before being allowed to enter the workplace. The reader of this email would know immediately what was required, who, would in fact, who was involved, what needed to be done, when, where, and why. Now often, the bluff is all anybody needs. Now if you wanted to take this one step further, military style, it would be to take the subject line and turn that into an alert as well. And you can do this by starting in the subject line with a all cap keyword that indicates the general purpose of the email. The, action, the word keyword might be something like action, request, info. And that way, if it's an action item, the person reading it, when they read the bluff, knows there's an action item for them. Or a request, maybe an action item is that they need to respond to a request. So an example might be if you're requesting, let's say a vacation, you might have something like this. Your subject might be request, vacation. Bottom line, I'd like to take vacation from September 1 to 14, 2020. So the reader knows immediately that you're making a request and it involves a vacation and the bluff or the bottom line is all the information they need to consider your request. Another one that is another example is let's say involving a case. And in this case, the action is the capital keyword, Smith versus Jones summary judgment. 
Bottom line, deadline for filing motion for summary judgment is September 1, 2020. And from there, you might actually have action items for different people in your firm that follows. Secretary, bold, highlighted, colon, what you want the secretary to do. Paralegal, junior associate, his name, Jim Jones, Sue Smith. And but right away, when they see the email, they know that there is an action item in there <clears throat> and it involves a summary judgment and that there's a deadline that they're operating from. The seven C's of communication for clarity of communication are clear, concise, concrete, correct, coherent, complete, and courteous. Using these two tips in your emails will make them clear, concise, concrete, correct, coherent, complete, and courteous. Give it a try and see if others ask, what is this bottom line? How come your emails are so much easier? Why do your emails tell us everything that we need to know right away? What makes your emails so much better than they were before? Imagine what would happen if you trained everybody in your staff to use those, these two tips in all of their emails. So now go bluff your emails and I'll see you next time back here on Front Porch Lawyer. I wanted to give you an update on the Front Porch Lawyer YouTube channel. Every week there will be at least three new videos, more if I get my legal work done. These videos are designed to have you look at life and business just a little differently so you can master life integration. Be sure to subscribe by hitting the button right below me and I'll see you back here on YouTube.